Campylobacter is the most common cause of infectious abortions in sheep. We now know that the bacteria is widespread across Australia. And we also know that when maiden ewes are protected against Campylobacter, producers can increase their lemming percentage by an average of 9% if Campylobacter is having an effect on the farm. The impact of Campylobacter varies greatly from year to year and property to property. It is often dependent on previous exposure to the disease. Some flock management practices increase the likelihood of Campylobacter being an issue, such as joining maiden or ewe lambs, trail feeding pregnant ewes, cell grazing pregnant ewes, containment feeding pregnant ewes, and bringing new ewes onto the farms. Campylobacter is not a new issue. The bacteria was first found in Australia in the 1950s, although quantifying the impact of Campylobacter abortions is only now becoming a common concern for Australian sheep producers. In recent times, we have seen a resurgence of interests as we've had a swing to more of a cost production focus, a switch away from wool to meat production. We've seen increasing value of sheep and a focus on reproduction, an increase in the practice of scanning, so producers' awareness of unexplained losses may be accounted for, increasing inputs through extension programs and feeding lessons learnt from the drought, adoption of containment feeding as a drought strategy and strategic tool for production. Basically, there are now more investigations into abortions and more questions asked about fetal losses where scanning results don't convert to lambs. Since a blood test for Campylobacter antibodies was introduced, we now know a fair bit more about the prevalence and impact of Campylobacter and what impact it has on Australian farms. We now know that the two strains of Campylobacter, Campylobacter fetus fetus and Campylobacter J. Juni, are found throughout Australia and both strains are causing lamb abortions on different scales. The average losses from Campylobacter have been documented at about 9%, but some naive flocks have seen lamb losses of greater than 40%. These are often referred to as abortion storms. The impact of fetal losses varies from farm to farm and can be related to various environments, age groups and management practices. But there is an argument for vaccinating against Campylobacter on most Australian sheep farms. The most significant impacts have been seen in young ewes, especially ewe lambs, high stocking rates in high rainfall zones, cell grazing, trail feeding and containment feeding, and introducing naive sheep to carrier groups. Cooper's Campivax, Campylobacter vaccine, consists of local strains and is manufactured in Bendigo. Cooper's Campivax is the only vaccine currently available in Australia to help protect against lamb losses due to Campylobacter. Due to the increased value in sheep stock and the current good rate of return on investment, Cooper's Campivax is becoming seen as an insurance policy against losses. The vaccine allows for a more risk assessment approach to potential lamb losses, particularly in intensively managed flocks and in high stocking rates. If you want to learn more about Campylobacter and potentially get more lambs on the ground, get in contact with your local Cooper's representatives on 1800 226511 or visit the Cooper's Animal Health website.